Okay, let's see what we got real quick, see if we can find this. Well, set you guys down, take a couple more scoops out of here. There's a piece of uh, pottery. Oh guys, this got me a little baffled here. I know that bolt wasn't all it was. And we're definitely hearing some stuff in here, and I think it's really small pieces. Behaving strangely. All right, I'm gonna give up on that before we waste any more footage. I can always come back. We'll see what it sounds like once we put the lid back down. I don't like giving up on stuff, but with time constraints on the footage, I was wondering what anyone thought about uh, us starting a throwback program. We dig a coin out, any deep coins, we have to put a new one back in, but don't put it deep. Put it like only an inch down so that way we don't dig it up again. And uh, most people who don't, you know, detect a lot probably won't dig it up. We tend to cherry pick a little, but uh, be kind of a night way to restock things for the future, our kids grandkids so you take a penny you put a penny you take a dime you put a dime only about one inch or so like I said so that it doesn't get got guys like us wasting our time or I'm, I'm sorry not guys like us but anybody that's Searching for the deep old stuff doesn't waste your time digging it. So, okay. Try to find one more quick one here, guys. I'm going to turn my audio signal back down to one. I like having it on one there so I can hear those real faint ones. If you got a lot of noise, with headsets would be perfect. Sometimes outside with no headset on, you kind of need to put the volume on too. 
the uh, signal volume. Short and choppy. That's can slaw. Trying to grab something. Not a very clean signal. Let's just get it out of there. Get it out of the way. Always a chance it could be a chain. Definitely can slaw garbage. You can hear it now that it's flipped open. Signal's hardly there. This discrimination really works well as far as uh, you know us not digging iron. There it is. Thin little piece of foil. really liking this knock to pin pointer and it doesn't false like my Garrett Pro pointer constantly starts doing and I don't have to hold it to the ground every time I start it although that may, may be a good idea with all of them I don't know probably to ground balance them and it's got some depth much better depth than the Pro pointer there's four levels of sensitivity. This company's really uh, coming out with some good stuff. I think the U.S. Uh, market is uh, going to get an eye opener when they uh, start producing more stuff. These companies in the U.S. need to pick it up. Companies like Mine Lab, I hate to say it, after the CTX, they kind of dropped the ball, I think. I was a big Mine Lab guy for years. You, you're a guy for years. You guys know that. I love my Mine Lab. Still got the CTX. Won't get rid of it because it's a good combination water machine. And the whole thing is, is it's great for cherry picking anything 8 inches and, and up. It's not a super good depth machine though, like I used to think it was until I started using some other stuff. And the separation is horrible on it and the iron. The uh, being able to see two targets at once, you know, it helps. But I, I don't want to stare at the screen for 10 minutes before I dig everything. And that's what it boils down to, that I had to sit and really analyze the target, you know. And maybe I, by that time I could have dug up three, four targets. May as well just dig them.
If I want to analyze it, I'll pull it out and analyze it in my hand. But again, it's good for cherry picking in parks and houses. I don't want to dig a lot of holes. It's hot out. I don't want to mess up the grounds much. I only want to dig exactly, you know, a certain amount of holes so that and make sure they're good targets. It's a good machine for that. For twenty-five hundred dollars, though, which is what it cost me new. I know they're coming down, and the used market on the CTX is just full of them. Go to the forums. CTX is used everywhere. You can spend about fifteen hundred bucks, twelve to fifteen hundred, and get a really nice kit. With warranty still, most most cases. We're getting a little more chatter out here. The more I get out close, this one must be picking up a little EMI from those buildings, or the school. I'd really like the big, uh, to try the big coil out here. Once it comes in, I'll try that out here. I think it's like 17 or 18 inches. I'll be able to cover some good ground and imagine the depth on that. I don't think anything will escape me in here. The whole key is how good is it on tiny, tiny? You know, can I pick up a dime at 15, 16 inches? The US dime is a good, uh, good way to scale your depth and targets because it's so tiny. It's a pretty small coin. There's not the reals are smaller. In our country, we don't really have anything smaller. It's pretty quiet out here. I spent a lot of years out here cleaning this place out, and they they don't use it much anymore. It's not getting re refilled with garbage, which is good. Here, that's deeper. Deeper. Let's do it. Hopefully, it's a good one. Nice to score a little silver. something. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a piece of scrap. Can scrap. Okay.
Sorry, we're not finding much on this run, guys. Yeah, here the detector's quieting down as I get over here. There's something about over there. Ooh, we got some stone underneath of here. Getting into the baseline area. And Still in the hole. There it is. I tell you, this reminds me a lot. I just got that new Deus. Um, this detector reminds me a lot. Matter of fact, all the Noctas, they kind of run a lot like the uh, Gold Max, um, which is a really good thing. Those are really good detectors. And uh, I mean, they've got their own twist on things for sure, but they definitely seem kind of sound like them and perform a little bit like them. They got some extreme sense of uh, sensitivity. Hope we got us a deep one. Okay, guys. This may be our last hole here. Go get the sun from school.
shovel in the way. Yeah, that's a tough one. I think it's down in the hole. So we can keep you guys standing. Oh, there goes my tiny little tripod here. Just broke. I got to get another camera. I'm taking suggestions on a good camera, guys. Something that uh, I have a hero. One of those uh, GoPro heroes, which to me, I can't see what I'm shooting. They're only good for action, really, if you're like going under water or something. I need something for shooting on land, something I can put a little tripod on. That's going to be tough. I saw Texas Tiger Digs did a, uh, a review on some cameras. I like that Olympus he had. Olympus Tough or something it was called. Very nice looking little camera. I'm, um, if you guys have any other suggestions, something that can handle this metal detecting the dirt, the woods. Okay guys, we've got a signal. Right about here. Oh, it's getting dark down there. We're getting some dark soil. Black, good good sign. Hopefully it's something good. Oh, I see some copper, guys. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's any good, but... Wow. underneath of it. Oh, it's breaking. Hmm. I think it's just a chunk of metal. But it's copper. Oh, it's a piece of a spoon. Another one. Silver plated too. Look at that. Nice. That's a big one. Another deep one, guys. There's another piece of it. Oh, the pin pointer's totally in the hole. That was good and loud. I don't know how I missed that with the E-Track. I mean, right in here, right about in here, I found that three-ringer. And I've been over and over this, but you know how it is. I guess you never find it all. Get it all out of the ground. I'll end up messing with it again. Tiny little fraction piece there, fractured piece. Excellent. All right, another good find. All right, guys, I'm going to call it here. I've got to take off. We got you about 60 minutes of video there. Sorry, a lot of it didn't have anything good. Uh, I'll try and get out again tomorrow or maybe even again tonight and get you another clip. So, all in all, I'm having a lot of fun with this VLOX and uh, it's an excellent machine. And as you can see, we are finding the deep stuff and this is what I wanted with it is to be able to come into these places I've haunted and pull it out all those deep targets oh and with that audio 
uh, signal audio adjust, we can really pick out the deep ones. That's pretty nice. So, and that's actually a lot more accurate than those uh, VDI graphs. Those graphs aren't very accurate most times. Uh, okay, guys. This is Niagara County here, Jim, signing off. Thanks for watching. Um, again, if there's anything in particular you guys would like to see, um, give me a shout, let me know, okay? We'll see you later. I hope you guys get out digging, have a lot of fun, and uh, spend some time with your families. Take care.